Hello, everybody. Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday to each and every one of you. Welcome to Infantry Outdoors. I am your favorite disabled DJ, the blind sniper, the man known as the infantry. Hope you guys are having a fantag fantastic day, an awesome day. I am your favorite Whoa. DJ, the blind Whoa, infantry, what did you do there? All right. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are around the world. I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope your week was good. And I hope you're ready for the start of the weekend. <clears throat> if you don't know who we are by now, well, we are Infantry Outdoors. You can check out everything you need to know about us at infantryoutdoors.com, or you can go back and check out our videos and all that good sort of stuff. Uh, I do not have the producer here yet, guys, so I will be attempting to chat myself. Rattle Trap and Tactical Technician family, how you guys doing? Happy Friday to you both. Hope you're having a great weekend. Thanks for stopping in. Cheers. Um, so, yeah. So, tonight we're going to be talking about water sports. And our program is sponsored, of course, tonight by Silver Connections Group. So, if you're looking to get a website, you're looking to get your social rankings boosted your social media route boosted all that good sort of stuff let my friends at silver connections group help you out with that you can reach them at silverconnectionsmobile.com and of course our other sponsor is our good friends at water purification products if you're looking to get a filter if you're looking to get a softener if you're looking to get something for the house for the home for the homestead my friends at water purification products will have what you're looking for and they'll be able to get you hooked up. So check them out today at waterpurificationproducts.com. Now, if you use promo code infantry with both of these sponsors, you will unlock additional savings to all of your purchases. So keep that in mind. The infantry name is good some places, folks. It really is, I promise you. So today we're talking about water sports. Um, and we're going to wait for some folks to get into the room. As I see the chat is popping. There we go. That's so much better. <clears throat> salted caramel and C. Okay. I'm going to get to that. Brandon's Outdoors Adventures. How you doing tonight? Big booms, my brother. Okay. Well, before I get into uh, the drink of the night, tonight's drink, we'll go ahead and kick into that. Um, don't forget, for those that are coming in or those who watch on the replay, October 20 october 30th next friday guys we're doing the big big boxies halloween um bash here on infantry outdoors let's try that again the boxies halloween outdoor bash is going to be next friday we are drinking red strat red stag and dr pepper courtesy of boxies outdoors make sure you check out the channel uh we are doing giveaways for costumes so wear your costumes next week halloween costume contest will be live here on the youtube channel so dress for success because i'm giving away amazon gift cards to the winners so that's coming up this week uh next week next friday but Back to tonight's drink of the week. The drink of the week, Mike. I am having Crown Royal uh, vanilla tonight, as I did most of the weeks, because uh, we haven't really had a bottle sponsor come up yet until Boxy. So Boxy will be the new drink. Now, keep in mind, if you want to be the drink of the week sponsor, all you have to do is let us know. Contact us either via infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Drop it in the chat. Drop it in the comments. Give us your recipe of what you want. It does not have to be an alcoholic drink, folks. It can be a non-alcoholic drink. It could be milk and cookies. What's your favorite milk and what's your favorite cookies? It's the holiday time. Eggnog uh, just came in. So um, if you have a drink with eggnog, that's something else we could consider. Uh, what else? What else is there, guys? What else is there? I mean, there's a lot of drinks. There's a lot of drinks. There's a lot of drinks. I was timed out by... Whoa, who did I time out? Braden, Brandon's outdoors. I didn't mean to time you out, buddy. Uh, message. I use a kayak for hunting. Now, that's awesome. How do I untime him out? I don't know what the hell I did. And this is what happens when I don't have the producer here. Brandon, I am apologizing, dude. I didn't mean to time you out. I don't know what I did. Ah, what the hell is going on on my screen now? 
I'm trying to blow this up so I can read what you guys say. And I guess I hit something. I am my apologies. It was an accident. Brandon, don't go anywhere. Yeah, don't go anywhere, bud. I didn't mean to do that. I swear to God, I did not mean to do that. I'm trying to blow these screens up so I can read them. Um, yeah, if you want to be a drink sponsor of the week, all you have to do is contact us. You can send us the amount for the drink and whatever it is to make it via our PayPal, and your channel will be the channel sponsor of the drink. We'll make a big week out of it like we're doing with Boxy, and we'll just have a good time celebrating your channel, have you up on the panel, and all that good sort of stuff. So drink of the week is Crown Vanilla. I like this one. I do. I really like it. Cheers, guys. Happy Friday. Brandon, brother, I'm going to take a double drink for you, brother. I did not mean to do that. That's just kind of the Friday I'm having, so cheers twice, brother. Yeah. Apologies. So, like I said, next week will be Boxy's Big Night, Red Stag, Dr. Pepper, Halloween costume contest here live on the stream. Make sure you tell people about it. Make sure you share it out. I'm going to give away some Amazon gift cards for first, second, and third costume prize. So, uh, also, we have lures being provided as well from another channel. Um, so, first, second, and third is going to get lures as well as Amazon gift cards. I may give some other stuff away. I don't know. I have to see what's going on. But we'll see you next Friday. Red Stag Halloween night with Boxy Outdoors. He is the man that's doing the plan. Uh-oh, I think my, my computer here, this computer stopped working. So I haven't been able to see you guys' comments here for a minute. And I can't see anything because I'm going to have to just flat out restart it. So if you guys are commenting, I'm flying blind right now, and I do <clears throat> I do apologize for it. Got to restart the tablet. And is it going to let me restart? Yes, it is. Okay, so apologies for that, guys. And, um, yeah, so tonight we're going to talk about water sports. What's your favorite water sports? Why is it your favorite water sports? And uh, we're going to get into some of them as they pop up. Now, please wait and bear with me here for a minute as I catch up on the chat. While that's reloading, actually, let's jump onto the cell phone because that's probably a whole lot faster at this point. So... We're going to be talking about water sports, water sports, water sports. And it could be any type of water sports, guys. It could be water skiing. It could be water polo. It could be uh, kayaking. Uh, Brandon said he likes hunting from a kayak. I would like to hear any more about that. Water sports, guys. It could be water skiing. It could be water polo. All right. See, I'm caught up. Uh, All right. Quiet, I'm sure you're trying to read here. All right, the right trappings in here. I got my costume in today. It looks awesome. Sweet. So I'm looking forward to the costumes, guys. Me and the producer are looking forward to it. We're actually working hard for you on this one. Um, the blind sniper pilot. You can't take my blind sniper stuff now, okay? That's patent pending. All right, there, brother Coyote. How you doing, Coyote? Bonnie Bernardi, what's going on, Mom? What's happening? Just laying on, just laying on the beach. How are you laying on the beach? That's a neat trick. Big booms. Marco Polo. Hey, I'm here now. I got it now. Hello, everyone. The Shiner guy robs in the building. Uh, <clears throat> my favorite water sports is just swimming. That's good. That's a good water sports. Very, very therapeutic water sport as well um what else do we got going on oh my computer's finally catching up with me um bum, bum, bum. good to see you rob just got off work good to know that mom big boom says hi to shiner everybody's saying hi to shiner now like i said guys don't forget next friday is boxy's big halloween bash here on infantry outdoors we are going to be giving away lures we are going to be giving away um amazon gift card so get your costumes ready ready steady freddy now um does skinny dipping count well a birthday suit is considered a costume isn't it i would say so otherwise why would they call it a birthday suit so rob if you're willing to go to that length buddy to get yourself a gift card and uh get you some um 
Bates, brother, then you go right ahead, man. I am not. It's it's the 21st century, brother. I don't discriminate. We don't hate. We don't none of that. All right, I got the big screen back up again. Hopefully, I don't screw up and time nobody out. Brandon, again, I am very sorry, dude. All right, let me get to the bottom of the chat. Uh, Wright says, I was calling you the blind sniper pilot because you said you were flying blind. Yeah, <laughs> you like that, right? Good job, Coyote. I like that one. Uh, skinny dipping as a water sport. Well, I don't know. Chat what y'all say. Uh, Big Boon says, only Friday. I can make it. Been hunting like crazy, man. Nice. Yeah, I've seen your pictures, brother. That's really awesome. I'm very, really jealous and envious. Uh, I hope you get one. Um, and also, let me another point of uh, point of attention too, guys, for you, everybody that's hunting. If anybody has any mounts that you're not using that you would like to donate to the cabin um, to be in backdrops for videos, um, please let me know. Uh, we would love to have mounts. I'm getting ready to make a, uh, make an actual frame for flow. The bear. So flow, the bear will be going up on the wall very soon. And, um, yeah. So any mounts for all you hunters out there, you want to send them out to infantry's cabin to have it as a backdrop in the videos and stuff. Please let me know. We're looking for them. Uh, only for da, 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 da. I'm back. All right, Brandon. I'm sorry about that, dude. My apologies. I'm very, very, very sorry. Rob Shiner, Boxy, and everybody, uh, everybody that's come in. Um, cheers. Happy Friday. I hope you had an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. To those that are out on the hunt, hope you have a blessed hunt. Cheers. So, um, Brandon, I want to know more about this hunting from a kayak. Tell us more about that. What do you hunt from the kayak, duck? Too cold for water sports here, 33 and snowing. But that's right now. Coyote, what is your favorite water sport, dude? What do you like to do in summertime? You like boating, like kayaking, swimming, water polo, water chess, uh, bas water basketball. What do you like to do in the water, man? Okay. You got a movie night with the wife tonight, Mike. All right, brother. Have a great one. I look forward to seeing you guys next Friday. Hey, listen, the wife can enter too in next week's contest. She just has to be up on the camera. So, you know, family members are welcome as well. Please share the word, uh, spread the word, guys. Share it out. I really do. We're working hard to make a good Friday party for you guys um, with Boxy being the sponsor. So help us out as much as you can. Mike, have a great night. Say hi to your wife for me. And uh, we'll talk soon, bro. Okay, the right strapping fishing. Okay, what it, what is your favorite fish to catch there, Coyote? Being that that's your favorite water sport. Uh, have a good night, Mike. Okay, Brandon says, I hunt goose and ducks from my kayak and also check my traps. All right, very cool. I figured it was going to be waterfowl that you were going to say when it came to kayaking and hunting. I don't think you're hunting deer from uh, a kayak. Maybe hog from a kayak. Right strapping. Later, tactical tech. Yeah, man. Um, when I was a kid, my favorite was swimming. I just love swimming. Living, being in South Florida, you know, we got all this water. We have the ocean. We have swimming pools. We have um, canals, ponds, swimming holes. Not like we have now because now you don't have a lot of that stuff. And as I got older, I guess boating, I moved to boating as an adult. Um but I still love swimming in the water holes, rope swings and things like that. Uh, boating, when I got into boating, it was kneeboarding, water skiing, uh, inner tubing, things like that. Uh, and then I moved into fishing. So that's what it would be for me as far as water sports. But I love me a jet ski. Don't get me wrong. I ain't nothing wrong with blowing down the freaking IT, uh, you know, I, ICW um, or ITC, the, the intercoastal. I can't even talk tonight. And just blow down there on a jet ski. Whew, that, that is a blast. Depends on what the wife wants for dinner. All right. Uh, after Jaws, <laughs> I don't swim much anymore. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jaws was a trip. 
and see, you know, I like I said, South Florida, we went to the beach a lot. It used to back in the day, you could pay a dollar for the whole day in the parking meter. And, you know, mom could take a bunch of kids to the to the, the beach for the day. Now, it's like three, four dollars an hour just to park your car to go to the beach. So at a public beach of all places. But, yep, yep, talking about water sports tonight. Hope everybody's having a good one. Hope you on the replay are having a great night. Remember that if you want to help and participate, or if you want to help and contribute to keep the program going here on Infantry Outdoors, I do got a lot of stuff coming for you guys, as well as live streams here on Friday night. We take donations very, very kindly at PayPal. So you can send your donation via PayPal at paypal.me forward slash infantry outdoors and our email is infantry outdoors at yahoo.com and if you have any comments questions or concerns always feel free to write to us at those addresses if you have any ideas anything you'd like to see on the show if you have any disability specific things you'd like me to cover um like i said i do got a lot of stuff coming up my son is finally going back to brick and mortar school starting monday hey i'll be able to start getting work done that means we'll have only the four-year-old at home to deal with and the producer won't have to be doing school all day. And I'll be able to get out and do some work. So I'm so stoked. I got a bunch of stuff lined up, a bunch of things I've bought, a bunch of products I'm going to be checking out. And I'm going to be bringing them to you guys here very, 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 very soon. So, um, yeah, if you got any comments, questions, or concerns, always write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Make sure you check us out at infantryoutdoors.com, our website. Uh, you can get all of our contact information. You can get our merch there. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm wearing the Infantry Outdoors logo t-shirt. These are all available on Amazon. We've got a bunch of different designs. And if you do get a shirt or anything using our Amazon links or anything Amazon related, understand that we do get a very small, very small kickback. And I mean very small. So, you know, if you shop with Amazon, shop with our links. Help us out. You know, that's all I got to say about that. So, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Uh, a dog outside. Tubing is fun, not into water. Wait. But if tubing is fun, not into water. Hold on, booms. Oops, wasn't finished. Not into water skiing. Ah, okay. Yeah, the tubing, that was fun until almost I separated my ribs. And then... I did kneeboarding and things like that, wakeboarding, stuff like that. That was a lot of fun. And then this dude got bit by a shark where we happened to run the boat in the intercoastal. So, and a big, big bull shark at that. So I said, you know what? All the times I was floating there trying to catch my breath, waiting to be picked up. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. So I, that, that's what happened. So Rattle Trap, how you guys doing tonight? Rattle Trap Fishing, let me hear from Curtis and Francis. What is your favorite water sport, Curtis and Francis? Um, if you did say it, I didn't see it because uh, snow tubing. Now, snow tubing is fun, Rob. I, uh, frozen water sport. I've done snow tubing. Almost went off the damn mountain. I've done snowboarding. I won't do skiing. I think skiing is kind of girly. But uh, I've done snow tubing, I've done snow sledding, and I have done uh, snowboarding, which I'm pretty damn good at. But you can imagine that being on a water-based life or in skateboards and things like that, it was really easy, at least for me, to pick up. Uh, yeah, well, right. Well, what about snow tubing, buddy? Hook that some bitch up to your Argo, hit that full throttle, and sling that tube around on the frozen tundra. Why can't you do that? I would do that. <laughs> hey, we got to do that. Coyote, when I come up there, we got to do that. <laughs> I like skiing, but too old for that. All right, you drive the Argo, and I will go on the inner tube, and we will see. We'll get one of them big-ass inner tubes. You know, they have flying inner tubes. We have down here, we have people that, own, well, not down here, but when I used to live down south, they had inner tubes that literally would lift you off the water and you would fly. They were so dangerous. They were illegal as hell, but they were fun. So 
So again, guys, looking for your comments, questions, concerns, or anything. Make sure you share us out tonight. We're talking water sports, hanging out, having a good time, learning from each other. Snowboarding looks fun. Snow skiing is fun. Haven't done that in almost 30 years. Uh, I will pull. Yeah, pull me with a roadrunner. Hey, listen, that would be fun. As I'm telling you, an inner tube and like a snowmobile or an inner tube and a freaking Argo, something like that. That would be a lot of fun. But Rob says snowboarding looks fun. It's a, Look, snowboarding is a lot of fun. You just have to understand simple concepts of there's no brakes. Um, I mean, there is, but you have to know how to dig in with your heels or dig in. If you dig in with your toes, you're going to face plant. Uh, if you dig in with your heels, you want to grind downhill and <sighs> spray snow everywhere. If you don't do that, you're not going to stop. But I don't know about skiing, but in snowboarding, everything is in an S. The bigger the S the slower you go, the faster the S or tighter the S, the faster you go. So that's basic snowboarding. It's a lot of fun, man. It really is. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You know what, Rob, let me tell you something. That's another reason I stopped inner tubing. I was on, I was being pulled by a jet ski on an inner tube. At Markham Park down in, in Fort Lauderdale in Weston. And this dude slung me. Thank God. Thank God. By the grace of God. I, I almost died, man. The tree was like this. Okay. Out over the water. And I went perfectly under it. It scraped my face, my chest. Left tree marks across me. But I was just enough to where I didn't die in that tree. So slinging people in the trees, that's not funny, man. <laughs> that's not funny. I'll probably wipe my own ass out, so you don't have to worry, Rob. Maybe plenty of funny moments coming up on that. Uh, snow skiing is fun. Water skiing, I turn into a submarine. <laughs> You're the bag of stones trying to swim. My boons. <laughs> yeah it would help the channel don't worry hey, listen i'm telling you kyle when i get up there we're gonna do that we're gonna go to walmart or we're gonna go to one of them damn outlet stores we're gonna buy us an inner tube if not i'm gonna mail you one that i might have laying around here i don't need no more um and we will we we will do that for sure We'll blow up the damn inner tube. We'll hook it to a – better still, if we can get the bungee rope instead of the regular tow rope, that's even better because you can slingshot me. We had on my boat a 75-foot bungee rope attached to a two – is it two or three-person round tube? And, man, it was fun until you try to get big brass ones hanging below you. You start talking smack, and then I'd be like, all right, go ahead, get on there. Hold on. Yeah, I knew how to get you off. I knew how to make the boat heading this way and the inner tube out here next to the boat with the tow rope this way. Taught the whole time to where I could launch myself and launch. It was crazy. It was a lot of fun. How's everybody doing? Jeremy, what's up, brother? Happy Friday. Welcome to the program. So glad to have you. Cheers. Hope you're doing well. God bless you and your family. Hi. Uh, have a great Friday. All right, strapping. I sent you a pic of the... Yeah, you sent me a bunch of pics, dude. I'm so jealous, bro. I really am. I hope, I really hope I could find a way to get out and hunt this year. I really hope that I could find a way to get out and hunt this year. I really hope that one of my friends, somebody's going to call me and tell me, hey, infantry, I'm going to take you hunting, or I'm gonna, I need to find a way. I got the rifle. I spent a hell of amount of money on this deer ammo at Walmart. It's freaking ridiculous. But I have it. I still got to go sight the rifle in. 
on top of I haven't shot it yet, but I want really want to hunt a deer this year I, just to go, man. Even if I don't get anything, I just want to go. Watching all these great pictures, everybody getting elk and deer, getting this, getting that. And here's infantry I want to go. I just can't go by myself. It's not illegal. So what do you do? But enough of that. We're just getting off of water sports. Jeremy, what's your favorite water sports, bud? Now that you came on in, uh, you make it out here. I'll take you. Or anyway, I know you will, bro. I, and that's I'm coming. We're getting together. We're gonna do that for sure. <clears throat> fishing. What? All right. Well, we're gonna start breaking this down. What kind of fishing? Saltwater or freshwater? You go for big game fish? Do you go for crappy? Do you go for bluegill? Do you go for snook, tarpon, snapper? What do you go for? Salt, fresh? You guys just can't say, say fishing and get out of it no more. I'm not letting you do that. Freshwater. All right. What are you targeting freshwater? Come on now. What are you targeting freshwater? Be more specific. All of them. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. That's me. Whatever gets on the line. I'm great with that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We just go fishing. Now, have any of you guys ever tried any of them newfangled uh, contraptions they've got for water sports, like the the jet propulsion machine, or has anyone rented one of the the underwater shoots up out of the water the the whales or the sharks or whatever they are? Um, they're pretty badass. I got to meet the racing team at an event I was at in Fort Lauderdale when I was down that way. <clears throat> and it was pretty cool that these girls were doing this stuff. And um, I also had a buddy of mine who was a uh, Black Hawk helicopter pilot, lost his legs in an accident. And he's now racing for sea racing jet skis around the world with no use of his legs. And he is a world-class, world champion man all the way. So don't ever say you can't do something, guys. Pontoon boat and drinking beer is pretty fun. It absolutely is, Jeremy. I agree. Jeremy does have the right idea. Bow fishing carp and stuff. Um, boy, what's up, boy? I didn't see you come in, brother. Happy Friday. I'm going to give you a toast in a minute. I just love drinking beer under the pool. very nice i can tell you things i like to do drinking beer in a pontoon boat yeah in a hot summer i would agree i don't like drinking beer in a hot summer i'll get drunk after one one beer in a hot summer i'm done uh the wife wants trout for dinner i catch trout if she wants squid if i go get squid i got you right i got you women always dictating in which way it goes all right Bull, happy Friday to you, brother. May God bless you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for supporting. Really appreciate you, man. Happy Friday. Guys, don't forget next Friday, Boxy's Halloween Bash happening right here on Infantry Outdoors. Uh, make sure you wear your Halloween costume because we are giving away prizes. We have lure packs from uh, One Channel's Donating Lures. We have Amazon gift cards from my channel. If anyone else wants to donate anything to first, second, and third prize contest next Friday, uh, please get a hold of me. Either write to me at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com or actually just do that. If you want to donate something to next Friday's giveaway, write to me because we have to have our T's crossed and our I's dotted. I'm not going to give away something without a guarantee that it's going to reach the people because that looks bad on me as the host. So if you have something you want to give away, Right now we have Amazon gift cards and we have lures. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you wear your costumes. We're going to be dropping links throughout the night so that you can come up and show your costume. And the producer is going to be the judge of who wins first, second, and third. So be creative, guys, and don't be not YouTube friendly, okay? That's what I'm going to say about that. Um. Curtis, Francis, what do you guys got planned for the Halloween costume? I'm curious. You got a good one? You don't have to tell me what it is. Actually, don't tell me what it is, but tell me you have a Halloween costume. Coyote, I know you got one planned, something planned. Jeremy, come on, guys. I'm giving away money, all right, for costumes. All you got to do is wear a costume. It's Halloween. 
for Christ's sake. If you don't celebrate Halloween, well, dress up as something. The mailman. Dress up as the milkman. I don't know. <laughs> the milkman. Yeah, I'm making a 70s porn here. Um, I wanted to give my virginity away once. Well, I tried giving it away more than once, but I hear it only qualifies once. I tried to give it away a whole lot of times, bull. Bull, what are you going to do, man? What co- You got a costume for next Friday? Come on, tell me. Somebody. Uh, I'm going to dress up as a drunk ape. Or as a skunk ape. Hey, I know what those are. I live in Florida, bro. I know what a skunk ape is. I wear my mask every day. It's all I have. Rattle trap. Come on. You got to come up with something. You and Francis could come up with something. I know you can. Maybe, hey, why don't y'all dress up as like a fishing couple? Or one of y'all dress up as the fisherman and the other one dress up as the fish. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Be creative, family. Because, listen, me and the producer really are trying to make a fun thing next Friday. Uh, Boxy sent the bottle. If you guys want to be a bottle sponsor, the drink of the week. All you got to do is get a hold of us, send us an email or write in the chat that you want to be a bottle sponsor. Let us know the recipe of what you want to be. Um, it does not have to be alcohol. You can tell us to buy cookies and milk, Oreos and, and chocolate milk, whatever your favorite thing is. The whole thing is we want to salute you as a channel by supporting us. And you'll be the bottle sponsor of the week. We'll make a whole uh, thing like we're doing with Boxy. We'll have giveaways and all kinds of good sort of stuff. So uh, all you got to do is PayPal us the amount for your donation, and we will go to the store and buy the stuff. Now, make sure that the stuff that you're having us buy is available where we live in the U.S. So, yeah. Judith, what's up? Cheers to Judith. Happy Friday, my love. Thank you for coming in, as always, and thank you for your continued support. We love you. The producer ain't here yet. She's still working, but I love you. I'm here. Cheers. She'll cheers you when you when she gets here. I promise. So don't forget, Judith. I hope you got a costume ready for next Friday. Boxy's Halloween bash going down here on Infantry Outdoors. We've got gift cards. We've got fishing lures. And again, guys, if you have anything you want to donate to the prizes, write to me at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com and we will get you squared away and all that goes. We'll we'll figure out how we're gonna do it. So that everybody's fair gets their prizes. Um, but yes, first, second, and third prize winners are going to get Amazon gift cards along with fishing lures. So make sure you're here. I hope Judith has a really cool costume. Guys, and be creative, man. All, you, if you say you don't have a costume, create one. It's just for funsies. That's all it is. It's just for funsies. Have a good time as creators and celebrate Boxy's donation. Drink Red Stag. You know, it's the night before Halloween and all through the house. All of the spooky monsters went, even the mouse. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm so grateful to have you guys. I'll tell you what, man. Nothing like always guaranteeing I got. But now share this out because next week, guys, we are going to blow it up, man. I really hope to blow it up. Uh, you missed. I dressed up like a hunter. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Hey, if you want to dress up like a hunter, that's your costume, bro. I, nobody's going to hold it against you. But I do want you guys to understand that living in South Florida, we have seen some off the hook, some seriously creative costumes. Um, and we, you guys, like I said, share this out next Friday. Giveaways. I, I really want to blow this up. If you guys can help, that would be amazing. Uh, I will post Monday. In the, uh, I will set the event for Monday. I will also post in the community post on Monday. I usually wait till Wednesday. I will do a Monday so that you guys all have time to share it out and really blow this up. I want to have a good time. We're going to have a blast. Um, everyone ready to start setting, setting steel. Everyone ready to start steel. Judith, if you're, if you're referring to hunting, you're going to just depress me, hon. I, I want to go. I really do. Respect that tail. What's up, Respect That Tail? How you doing? Happy Friday. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for supporting. Great to have you. Cheers, brother. Or sister. So, yeah. Um, 
as soon as I get back from the hunt. Okay. Yours is November 1st. What's November 1st, Judith? Deer season? Here, let me diagonal the mic. Sorry, guys, in the camera. I'm not, I know I'm not looking at you. I apologize. I don't have my producer. Uh, what flipping time is it? Because she should be home 1035. Did I even get a phone call from her? No, I didn't. So it's probably going to be one of them Friday nights. Um. Okay, well, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. All kinds of stuff going on here. Section 8. Uh, man, I got too much stuff happening on my phone. Let me tell you guys, for a blind guy, it's crazy. But I haven't heard from the producer yet. And it's almost 11 o'clock, which is really weird. Uh, we have a pack start. Yapping about 800. Oh, at 830 every night. I missed something, Judith. A pack? What are you shooting? What are you going for? Coyotes, Judith? Uh, I'm someone you know just made a separate channel. This will be a future hunting show. Judith's trapping season. All right. Set that steel. Ah, I got you now. Trapping season. Set that steel. 10-4. Got you. Um, respect, the, respect the tale. Do you want to tell me who you are? Do you want to let people know who you are? You can cross-promote your channel on here. Um, so if anybody, if my mods see it, please don't hack it down. I want to catch a fisher. Got them running around here. Now, you want to catch a fisher. What is a fisher? What is a fisher, bull? Want to catch a fisher. Is Josh. Binks. Oh, Binks. What's up, brother? Okay. Hey, listen, for everybody in the chat and the replay, Binks got a new channel. Check him out. Check out my borough's new channel. Respect the tail. <laughs> hey, that could go in a lot of ways there, Binks. <laughs> <laughs> respect the tail. I respect the hell out of the tail. Let me tell you something. That's why I'm married with two kids. Feel me? All right. And I respect the tail. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Not too many others or beaver. Beaver. I want to try beaver. I want to try beaver. That's one I want to try. Yeah, guys, if you don't have respect the tail, check them out. That's Binks, Bass and Binks. Um, Check him out. Make sure you check him out. Check out both his channels. Support, you know, family gets supported around here. So, um, we can't catch fishers here. What the hell is a fisher? They're protected. Somebody tell me before my head explodes. <laughs> we are covered up with critters. Hey, Judith. Um, and for all my hunters out there, again, I'm going to put it out there. We have the new house here in the woods. If any of you have mounts, if any of you have mounts that you're not using, if any of you have mounts that you're not currently, um, doing anything with, and you want to send to infantry to have his backdrop in a new cabin. Hello, producer. Everybody's wondering where the hell you are. I'm fucking, um, okay. I hate my managers. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll talk later. Oh, okay, well, everybody's waiting on you. Judith is waiting on you, and everybody's waiting on you. So we'll see you when you get here. I'm waiting. I'm on the way. Okay, bye. All right, producer's on the way, everybody. Got to do that work thing. So, um, crap, I missed something in the chat. A fisher is a fisher. You know what? Who the hell put that, right? You're fired. You're fired. Fisher is like a small wolverine. Okay. All right. Do you eat them? Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what a fisher is. <laughs> I've heard of them. I don't know what a fisher is either. That's why I'm asking. Fisher is a weasel like a pine martin or on steroids. 
So, hey, can one of y'all kill one and mount one and send it to me? I'll get big hugs and kisses. I will send brownies. I will send brownies if you send me a mount of a fisher. For, and a wolverine, too. That's a bad animal, wolverine. I know a wolverine, but y'all want kiss. It's, yeah, I would think that would be awesome. Somebody want to send infantry a mount for Christmas of a Martin, of not a Martin. What is it called again? A fisher. A fisher or maybe a wolverine. I will send brownies. I'll make brownies. I will personally make the brownies and I'll personally send, put the love in them. And I'll, not special brownies. Those stay here because we get in trouble with sending special brownies. Unless you want special brownies. But we can't send special brownies. So we'll spend, send regular brownies and thank you for that. So that would be cool. A fisher is like a wolverine. That's crazy. I never heard of those. Uh, I just gave a mule deer and an elk mount away and a what man bull see i've been saying this for weeks now ah weeks now this is what happens when you miss an episode you don't see what i want to tell you um we found a live three oaks and a fan and caster price is 80 bucks a pound and going up and we got tail bounty i don't know what, okay, okay i guess that's between y'all two because i don't know what that means uh i'm hunting mule deer now bull uh respect to tail bull mule deer and elk are in my bucket list of hunt listen the blind sniper just wants to hunt um if anybody's in the florida area or if you want me to come out to you maybe next year we could do a planned hunt um it's required pretty much everywhere that a person like myself has to have a hunter go with me. And that's where I have the issue. I need to have somebody take me and put me on my first, whatever. I would love to do it. I would love to share that experience with someone. Um, but I'm hoping that this year I can get on a hunt. Uh, I did buy that new rifle this year. I don't plan on, on letting it go to waste. I did buy some really flipping expensive rounds to go in that gun for the deer um but if not maybe a hog I, I would like to do something this year i've waited a long time for this i really have we're talking seven years i've waited to go hunt and to harvest something for my family to put meat not to to trophy hunt or not to kill it to kill it i want to harvest it to eat it i want to put meat in my freezer for my family and and just have that accomplished the feeling of that is just like you guys don't even understand it's not even to kill it's that I'm going to eat. I'm going to harvest this animal. Like I, I'm growing uh, vegetables outside. I harvest those, those vegetables and I look and I go, wow, you know, I did that. And it's amazing. And just imagine if you're a person in, in life where your disability says you shouldn't be doing this. Your society says, oh, infantry, you're blind. Why do they call you the blind sniper? You can't shoot crap because you're blind. Well, you guess what? My kids will tell you otherwise. My wife will tell you otherwise. Anybody knows me. Watch that video on how to set up a home range i've even improved the home range and i've got some good gun stuff coming up for you guys too so keep that in mind okay oh we're strapping i have brothers in colorado now i am in washington all alone in dingo the doll well i'm coming coyote i'm coming i'm gonna be there when i can get there uh, if i had land to hunt I'd invite you up. I appreciate that, Binks. You know that, brother. Uh, but elk and got bull elk in Utah, 10 mule deer in Colorado. That's really good, bull. Uh, you should find a hog hunt in Florida. I don't, okay, here's the thing I don't want to find a hog hunt, Judith. Like, I want to go do it, I don't want to pay for it. I'm not looking for a damn outfitter. Um, I know how to hunt. I'm just not allowed to do it by myself. You understand? That's where like the whole crap of it is. I know how to track. I know how to hunt. I, yes, I might have to look closer than you, but I know how to do it. I know what a deer print looks like. I know what a hog print looks like. The, the law says, Johnny law says I have to have somebody take me. Um, we're going to try to see what we can do with the producer and see if we can get her license to where she could take me because that's to be a licensed hunter. 
Um, but then there's the kids. So I'm not going to pay to go hunt when I know how to hunt in the damn forest is right here. It just don't make sense. And the hunts, Judith, uh, here in Florida for hog hunts, they're not cheap. They're like $2,500 a hunt. And, you know, for that, that's just ridiculous. Uh, we got big bucks here in Ohio. Binks, I would love to come up. Uh, Boone says, love to go on a hog hunt. Hey, you're welcome anytime. Hey, listen, Boone's in the state of Florida. Whoosh, turn the microphone. In the state of Florida, you do not have to have a Florida hunting license to hunt hog. They are a nuisance animal. So whenever you want to come down and whenever you want to go hunt with me, come on, bro. I got you. You know you got a place to stay here, bro. We're going hog hunting, me and you. Uh, I don't have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. Uh, a little bit higher. Okay, I don't have any friends. Don't know anyone in Florida to help you. Bull, no worries, bro. But listen, maybe God blessing, God willing, you never know. I could come out to you one day. If you have the ability to take me hunting and put me on something, that is 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 what we're looking for. Not so much here in Florida, but if you know anything, always a blessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Funny how we went from water sports to all we're talking about is hunting now, right? But it is hunting season. Uh, I've gotten two. I've gotten two back tails. Whoa, stop. One mule. And elk is still on the bucket list. Well, you're doing better than me, right? Uh, my dad would take you hunting. He is in Florida. If you don't mind hooking it up, I would really appreciate that. But I think he's down Okeechobee way. I would travel to Okeechobee to your dad if it was possible. Uh, Judah, 300 to 500 bucks in Texas. Texas is far from me. But I would pay that if somebody were, if it was someone. Jennifer Porter, how you doing tonight? Me and you are planning on getting a hunting license this year. Who? Who? Me and you. Me and you, Jennifer? Who's Jennifer? Hold on. Jennifer, who are you? Me and you, J-Dang, phone, connecting me. What? Me and Jay, dang phone, connecting me. Okay. Jennifer, who are you talking to here, honey? Me and you are planning to getting a hunting license this year. If me and you are going hunting, honey, you let me know. I will happily go hunting with you. I am taking Swamp Stalker on Wednesday. Where are y'all going, Rob? The rice trapping. St. Cloud, baby. Hey, I'll go down. Listen, I got... Shannon down in St. Cloud. Rob's not far from there. Shiner or uh, Kyle, you know I'll go down there. If you can hook it up, dude, if Pops is okay with it, if Daddy Kyle is good, I'll head over there. I honestly, guys, I just I, I want to have that experience. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Just like, you know, uh, Fish and Stick Marsh with, with Rob and C uh, Pro Wayne. Um, that was a blessing, too. You know, I've always wanted to do that. Fishing Okeechobee, I've done it, and I've done it in tournaments. Headwaters Lake, Fellsmere. Oh, you're going back down there by Farm 13, right? Where we went. Uh, me and Justin are planning on getting a license this year is what that was supposed to say. And if you do, y'all can come. Awesome. Wait. Jen. Jen that was just with me tonight. That's who I'm talking to. Am I correct? Because when you said Justin, I'm putting two and two together. So, Jen. Yeah, we went to a really cool Halloween event tonight. Big up. If this is the Jen I'm talking to, big up, Jen, for taking me and the kids to the Halloween event while the wife was working. We had a great time. Standing in this long ass line to get some candy, but it was a lot of fun. Yes, okay. 10 4, got you. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah, we had a good time. Um, if y'all have kids, you know what it is when you got to do the mommy daddy duty and you got to take your kids, stand in an hour plus line to get some candy. <laughs> but we had fun, we made the best of it. 
try to keep the the two littlest ones awake, right, Jen? But yeah, I, uh, if y'all get to go hunt, if y'all if you guys are licensed, that's all I need. You go with me, we I go with you, vice versa. I just need somebody with a damn license to take me, because damn Johnny Law don't want me to go by myself. So I can understand that, but we gotta go. You need to get it soon, girl. If you're gonna do it, get it soon. Um, and Justin, I don't think, I don't think Justin is, wait, wait, he's 16. I don't think he can get a hunting license to, well, I don't know. I think it's 18. Uh, Ruth crashed. <laughs> well, that's good. Logan was easy. I came home, gave Logan his pill, his, his melatonin, put some food in his belly. He was out. Brandon. Gave him his pill, his melatonin, gave him some food. I haven't even eaten yet, and he's out. And here I am drinking. Shame on you, Uh I just sent my dad a message. Awesome, bro. Well, big shout-outs to Papa Coyote. If we can hook that up, get on a hunt, that'll be awesome. Um, big shout-out to the producer who just walked in the building. She's finally home. Oh, what a night. I probably should have told you to stop and bring on food, but I forgot to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh no, they ate. They're good. They ate their little cups of things. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, after 16, he has to get one. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. So, I guess in Florida, after 16, you have to get a license. Um, but yeah, we could all go. Let me know. I mean, we it, we we're gonna have to get an area, and we're all gonna have to split up because all of us being together, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, that I know for sure. Uh, da -da 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 -da. He is the one that got me hunting. That's awesome, Kyle, bro. That's awesome. Well, Papa Kyle, we love you on this channel. If you ever catch the replay, um, and that'll be awesome to get hooked up with. Jen, your friend finally made it. She's slacking. She spends all that time hanging out with, with, with the stock boys, you know? Yeah, yeah. We know about the stock boys. And how ironic they one of they, they have the same name as her kid. Um that's six years old, okay. Right, Just don't click on the wrong thing. Yeah, so we've been talking about – we're supposed to be talking about water sports. Got steered into hunting. I love my audience. No matter what topic I set for us, we always end up going where we want to, don't we, guys? <laughs> Howdy, Mrs. Infantry Outdoors, Coyote says. Hi, Coyote. I'm here. Better late than never. Hi, Jen. Shiner guy's here. Uh, Jude, Hi, Judith is somewhere here looking for you. She was looking for you earlier. Hi, Judith. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, so the boy starts school on Monday, at least my oldest. So I can finally start getting some videos done. Um, I do have a lot coming up, and I know I keep saying this, and I, I hate that I say it and I don't get to produce it because I'm not one of them people where – it, you guys know me like Rob. You, he'll back. I, if you need something, if you want something, I'm there for you. I got you. It's taken care of. But these damn videos, when your kid is home and doing homeschool, um, and the wife, who is your transportation or your way of getting around, has to be here for homeschool and you can't really do anything, it, it's tough. But I got a lot coming up. And y'all are going to get to see the 308. Yeah, I don't want to bring it out here. I don't want to show y'all. I don't want to do nothing with it. Y'all are going to see it in the video. The Savage Arms 308. Sweet. I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with it. Uh, Shiner Guy says, hello to your wife, Infantry. Uh, better late than ever. Yeah, that's what she put. No, uh, hey, about time, slacker. Yeah, she's a slacker, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a freaking slacker. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've been out with Jen all night. Yeah, we, we've been partying it up. I'm a trade wives. That's what it is. The, the producer, she's going to go just work, work. And Jen and me, we just going to hang out all the time. 
Yeah. At least Jenna has time for me, you know? You know? Yeah! <laughs> 21 years together, I think I can share a little bit of your time. Make sure you tell her about the video we're going to make with you on a two behind the road runner. Oh, yeah. So when I go to, listen, when I go, I'm supposed to tell you this. This is for legal disclaimers and life insurance policies only. When I go visit Coyote, we're going to take one of the tubes that we used to pull behind the boat. And we're going to hook it to his roadrunner in the, in the snow. Exactly. See, the wife wants to go. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me, Coyote? You think you're like, this ain't a joke. We, we do some stupid shit like that. Like, be honest, we'd be the ones that would. My wife would be the one going, Coyote, get in the back with infantry. I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, that would be the wife. All right. I taught her how to slingshot people and, and do shit. We had a jet boat. We had a 17-foot jet boat. That was just off the chain for pulling inner tubes. I had a buddy who was 300 pounds. This thing was slingshot his fat ass like no tomorrow. Um, oh, here we go. Don't start that crap. Yeah, Producer's yawning. Everybody, boo. Boo. You can't yawn. Don't forget, guys, next Friday, big party party. We're getting Amazon gift cards. We're giving away lures. If you have something you'd like to contribute to the giveaway, please contact me at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Let me know what you want to give away. Let me know. For, this has to be for sure, guys. We're not screwing nobody. Prizes have to go out and be delivered on a timely basis. So write to me if you want to be part of the prize package. First, second, and third place winners of the costume contest will receive Amazon gift cards of some denomination and fishing lures provided by one of our generous channels here now all you have to do is enter wear a halloween costume be over the age of 18 be here on friday night with us and celebrate boxy's outdoors man he has hooked it up he bought me a bottle of red stag we're having that with uh dr pepper so if you guys want to buy this and try this at home for yourself with us here on the channel i'm not encouraging the spread of alcohol at all again if you want a bottle sponsor a week you can send milk and cookies the whole concept of this is guys is for you to have a drink with us on Friday night, celebrating you as a channel, celebrating you as a supporter, and sub celebrating everything that Infantry Outdoors is doing everywhere. You know, it's basically just our way of saying thank you. So, if you want to support the bottle, if you want to send and be the drink of the week, write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com or drop it in the comments. The producer will read it. And you can send your payment via PayPal or your donation via PayPal paypal.me forward slash infantry outdoors and the email to go with that is infantry outdoors at yahoo.com sweet business is done i gotta remember to do that lmao lma why are y'all laughing at me hold on a sec what the hell is going on y'all laughing at me coyote said make sure that you yeah no i told her hey he's gonna pull me on a damn and everyone's just laughing wait 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 hold on where did it go 23KC, what's up, buddy? 23KC, happy Friday. Hope you're having an amazing one. Hope you're having a great, great start to the weekend. Hope you're having, if you are, an awesome hunting start to your hunting season. Thank you for coming in. Happy Friday. God bless you. Cheers. Do, 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 do. Boop. Cheers, buddy. Yes, sir. Gotta love Fridays. So, 23 KC. Tonight, we're talking about water sports. You are the channel to come in or the viewer to come in. What is your favorite water sport? What do you like to do? What water sport do you like to enjoy? It's just, uh, it's just me and my boy tonight. He's nine months. Oh. Well, I tell you what, the nine month old, you know what he's going to be doing? He's going to have a baba. Cheers on the baba. And cheers to you being a good parent. Miss Producer, I really could use something to eat or snack on or something in between. What can I give you? I don't know what to make you. you I don't know. You come up with something. Chips, salsa, queso. I fish. Well, again, like a, you missed this earlier, you can't just say I fish. Do you fish salt? Do you fish fresh? 
And then we're going to get into what do you fish for? Oh, hold on now. 23KC, you get ginseng? Where you're at? You must be in Tennessee or somewhere like that, right? Smokies. Phone dying, got to go. All right, Rob. Hey, let um, let me know about Wednesday. I got to see. Oh, wait. Do you work Wednesday, producer? Yeah. Damn it. I can't go, Rob. I don't work till nighttime, though. You want to go down to Felsmere? Nope, not gonna work, Rob. Can't come. Sorry, Rob. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. Oh God, excuse me. Yeah. We do it Thursday, mm. Friday. Smallies, catfish, Yahoo River as well. He said I dig singing in Indiana. Indiana, that's pretty cool. Freshwater. In the I catch oh yeah, here's a bandage. Catfish, you know, Look, this is a pretty cool guy. I gotta show you that we got this from the church we were at today. By the way, the church through the the Halloween event, the trunk or treat. It says, "Love, live, lead." Here you go. Merry Christmas. The kids got you one too. Respect the tail. Says the chips and the sauce in the case is good. Respect the tail. That's Binks. Oh, hi, Binks. Binks has a new channel. So, yeah. You if you, chips and salsa, uh, I would like chips and something other than salsa. I don't know if I have any more queso or not. Hey, Rob. 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 Hey
Yay! Cheers! Happy Friday, Jeremy. We love you, bro. We love you, bro. We really do. Cheers, brother. I want to make sure you get that. Here, Jeremy, let's do another one. Cheers to Jeremy, everybody. Raise your glass, smack an ass, and enjoy your Friday night. Happy Friday, Jeremy. All right, where are we at? Uh, have you met the, the Arringtons? No. Binks, are you talking to me? Uh, damn, made it to Star. Let's go. Yeah, I made it to Eagle, Judith. Not to brag or anything. Cheer, yay! Jeremy had his drink. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So now you had two drinks for Jeremy. But yes, I made it all the way to Eagle Scout, thank God. And good parenting. And good parents. But yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look what I got coming. Look what I got coming. I got dip. This is some stuff that the producer made yesterday. There's some chicken breasts. Slow cooker cracked chicken. Slow cooker cracked chicken. Slow cooker. First of all, we did. Mind you, we're from Miami. First, I, what, what we had did. I don't mean to eat in front of y'all, but I had dinner or lunch. So I'm hungry. Um, first, what we had did is we had taken the chicken and we had smoked it in crack. We made the chicken smoke crack. And then we took the chicken and we smoked it in a smoker while it was smoked on crack. Okay, and then we put it in this pot, and it comes out looking like this. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> what did you call it? Smoke, smoke. Slow cooker cracked chicken. Slow cooker cracked chicken. Crack. Crack. Yeah, because it's chicken. Yeah, if you don't smoke crack with your chicken, then you didn't do it right. It's like, look, it's like glue. It's cream cheese ranch dressing mix. Dear me for dinner and Blue Gabe. Hey, wait, why are you dropping that in here? What's that got to do with them? <laughs> what had happened was what what had happened was. Yeah, I'm hungry, boy. I'll tell you what. Oh, this is a new kind of chip. The kids did okay in candy. They did okay in candy. It's hit. Oh, it's hidden in the closet. Oh, it made it to the bag in the bathroom. The bathroom. Oh, I don't know why. Because when I got home, I had to pee so bad. It wasn't even funny. The Arringtons. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is, Banks. Deer meat for dinner. You know who deer meat for dinner Oh, yes, I do. Yes, the Arringtons. Yes. Yes. I do I mean, know. Yes, I know. Yes, hundred percent. I had a brain fart. It's like you know who dear me for dinner is. I had to think about that for a minute. Yeah, my my brother, who is in the United States Air Force, has been writing is trying to get me linked up with Deer Meat for Dinner and Blue Gabe. He really wants to see his big brother get, you know, the opportunity to hunt. Because they were right down the street from us when we were down in... No, we are down in South Florida. South. Gabe and uh, his brother were only like an hour from my house. Maybe an hour and 20. Hour and 30 minutes, something like that. So, it really wasn't a push to go out there even now, if they were to contact me, I'd drop what I was doing and go. Uh, the opportunity is, is just amazing. You know, like I said, I, I want to provide meat for my freezer for my family. And this cracked chicken, smoking well, crack. Yeah, those dudes can cook, but listen, your boy infantry can cook too. You ever had a blind man cook for you? We taste things nobody else does. We have flavors that 
nobody knows about. And if you look on my channel, I've eaten iguana. Um, I've had a rabbit. I've had a bunch of stuff on here. Now, we haven't done alligator and stuff like that yet because I haven't had the opportunity to harvest mine. It's coming. It's coming. Now, mind you, just like them, I'm born and raised right down here. Well, now I'm up here, but down there. Florida born and raised. I'm Florida born and raised. Florida and South Florida might as well be two different states. Gator is awesome. Gator is very good. If you ever have the opportunity he to said, eat it, he said I've had iguanas tasty. Iguana is pretty good too. If you do it right. If you do it right. I would eat the tail meat over anything. Tail meat is really good. The knuckles or the dark meat. They're pretty gamey. It has a gamey, has a you know you're eating lizard, but it's all in all, it's not bad. All in all, it's not Is bad it at all. Is it impossible to hunt a gator with a bow? I feel it's illegal. I don't know if you penetrate the skin, to be honest. I don't know. Says, when are we cooking out again? When are we what? Cooking out again. Whenever you want, honey. Anytime you want. Yeah, my husband loves cooking on the grill. You bring food over, he'll put it on the grill. Yep. Yeah. You just tell us you're coming over, we'll be ready. Jeremy said, I haven't had a chance to eat rattlesnake yet. Rattlesnake is off the chain, too. That's another good one. When I was a kid, I went to see my uncle. We had alligator, rattlesnake, and deer meat tacos. What, it mice? Yep. Yep. I'm not one to try new, you know, be afraid to try new things. I'm not one to be afraid to eat something because you just said the name of it. <laughs> you know, I'll Manish eat whatever. Water. <laughs> yeah, Manish Water. Um, working for the Jamaican radio station, they had a, a, the Jamaicans have a dish called Manish Water. What Manish Water is, is soup, but it's made from the head of the goat, the brains, the eye cavity. All of that, the cheek, everything from the goat goes into the pot. Several goat heads. And the first time I went to let my wife try it, I gave her the broth. She loved the broth. She's like, oh, it's so good. But what I scooped out was a piece of brain. She wasn't having that. No. Meanwhile, I ate the whole bowl. Yeah, I know. I saw the textured brain particles in there. It was so good. Jimmy. Mm. About the uh, rattlesnake or the tacos you had, he said, "Dang, that sounds awesome." Yeah, no, they're really good. Gator tail, rattlesnake, and venison in a taco. That is like the South Florida Everglades in one shell. And again, I don't mean to my eat in front of you guys. Other channels have done it, and they make me hungry as hell. So I know how it is to be on the other side of the camera. But I have not eaten. I've had the boys all day. We went to a Halloween event. I didn't want to eat no candy. Um, so I'm stacking. What I call this? The mukbang. Welcome to the mukbang. <laughs> Finley. My buddy Finley. If y'all don't know Finley River Kennels, yeah, Finley got his little rhyme. Welcome to the mukbang. I love Finley. Check him out. He's another great channel. Here's some... Um, I don't even know what this is. No. Some mission, mission tortilla round tortilla chips. Four simple ingredients. And ACC says, would you eat a mouse? Laugh out loud. And ACC says hi. Only in a house. <laughs> Jeremy says, I eat squirrels. So yeah, I would, ACC. Shit, I eat a mouse. It ain't no, yeah, like like he said, it ain't no different than squirrel. Or rat. Or rat. I mean, it's all the same thing at that point. I would try anything once. If I don't like it, then it is what it is. But I was raised 
that you don't dislike something because you hear it, because what it sounds like. My dad was famous for coming up to you and going, here, open your mouth. Well, of course. Then you're eating pepper. Of course. What are you going to say? What is it? Shut up and eat it. <laughs> That's what everything was called. Shut up and eat it. You tried it first and then decide whether or not you like it. Then I'll tell you what it is. Bing says raccoon? Question mark. I've never had raccoon. But if any of you guys know what blood sausage is. Jeremy says, I haven't yet, but I'm going to one day. Or Blutwurst, as it's called in German. Blood sausage. Woo, I can only eat it with scrambled eggs. I got to eat it with something. I can't eat it by myself, by itself. Rooster fries. What a rooster fries, Judith. Judith, what a rooster fries. Now you're making me hungry for them. <laughs> you heard it's not bad? He's talking about the raccoon. Oh, raccoon? Yeah. And uh, I hear coon is about how you cook it. Judith says like red boudin. Like what? Red boudin. It's a coon. Uh, Jennifer, Jen says, I swore I'd never eat Bambi, but now that I've lived here in the South, I've tried it and love it as long as it's cooked right. The hell is Bambi? Bambi. Oh, Bambi. Oh, no, man. Deer is off the chain. For y'all, I don't know. Deer, deer is. Deer. Why do you think I've been talking about? Bambi tastes real good. <laughs> Bambi is one of my favorite meats, wild meats to eat. But see, the thing of it is, you're not taking Bambi. You're taking Bambi's like old ass father. You know, you're not shooting little baby deer. That's where people got it wrong. Oh. Rooster fries. You says what a rooster has that a hen don't. You know, Judah. Like Rocky Mountain. No, 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 no. Like, no, no, no. Hen, like rooster Rocky I got it. Rooster. I got it, honey. <laughs> I got it. I got what a rooster has and a hen don't. That's why I'm married. Okay, I'm not confused about what a rooster got. Jeremy and what. Says, Shoot, I'll take Bambi out there. I'll but I'm not eating no out. chicken chicken pfeffer. Well, I don't know what you want to call it. Chicken oysters. Chicken's willy. Chicken oysters. You got Rocky Mountain oysters, you got chicken oysters. No, the nuts ain't big enough to eat on a chicken. She's talking about probably the willy. Judith, are you talking about the willy or the marbles? I don't give a damn if we well, get hold on wait. I don't give a damn if we get red flagged at this point. <laughs> I want to know, Judith, is it the willy or the marbles? Okay. Are we talking about farm fresh oyster uh you know chicken oysters? Or are we talking about chicken willies? Chicken willies. <laughs> that should be pre pretty pretty damn good for YouTube, all right. Leave it to Judith to get me a ban for what I'm trying to talk about. It's all your fault, Judith. Uh, marbles. Marbles. See, I told you. Really? Marbles. Could you even see chicken marbles? I mean, <laughs> what the That's hell are you so eating then? Like, about. literally, it's like probably like a grain of freaking salt. <laughs> I mean, fellas, think about it. She says How big can a chicken's marble, marble be? be? I mean, mine are like this. The chicken's marble like that. Hey, I mean, Jeremy says they're on the inside. You can't see them. They're actually, I guess, pretty big. What? I get they're on the inside of the chicken. You don't see the marble. What? I think y'all are pulling my leg right now. Raymond is laughing so hard. <laughs> well, if you don't play with chicken no nos, um. You know, I thought for sure she was going to tell me the willy, that she was eating a chicken willy. Now, in Jamaica, they have Jen this. says they're internal. They have this, 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 another soup, like the manish water. 
Okay. Soup. This is called cow cod soup. And it's generally eaten by the men of Jamaica. Let me see. I'm going to give a couple comments here. Anybody in Jam anybody in the comments know what cow cod COD soup is? Let's see if you guys could guess. <laughs> Judith says they have a crochet hook looking thing. Reach up in there and snatch them out. No, thank you. <laughs> Judith, look here. My new favorite lady. I'm coming to breakfast at your house. All right. We're going to reach up in there. We're going to grab some damn eggs. And then we're going to go up in the boys. And we're going to reach up in there and grab some eggs. And we're going to scramble them some bitches together and make breakfast. What she the said fuck? They have a crochet hook looking thing right What the hell is wrong with you? To take a Jen hook up says there? cow nab soup. Mm, Jen's on the right path. Jen's on the right path. If you lift your head up from the nads, what do you see? <laughs> do they cook it in the sack? Laugh out loud. What, the chicken? Or are we talking about the cow cod? Because the cow cod is in a sack. It's the actual. The cow cod is this. Oh. It's the willy. All right. Cow cod soup. If you ever go to Jamaica, cow cod soup is the, mm, the bowl, bowl soup. Okay? It's a man's man soup. Man's man soup. Puts lead in your pencil. The voodoo doctor says so. <laughs> Fertility soup. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> the soup of men. Like. <laughs> the soup of manly men. <laughs> hey, son. You know. My thing hasn't worked in years, and your mother is very, very upset. Oh, Pops, drink some of this soup. Yeah. We got you, Pops. I've been to Jamaica. The best thing to get, though, is a peppered shrimp. Fresh out the corner. Listen, y'all want to go to Jamaica, and you want to eat. All right, hold on a I bet to Jamaica. Bings, you been? Been, yeah. There's bull sperm. And everything. Yeah, Jen, what the hell do you think Red Bull is? Why do you think it gives you rings? What do you think taurine? T-A-U-R-I-N. Yeah, taurine. Some shit like that. Taurine is bull sperm. Look it up. Google that shit. Taurine is bull, your bull sperm. So if you like Red Bull and you get your wings, you got them because the bull went. Roar! Yep, Ben, they sure can. And you can cook just like a Jamaican too. I'm going to tell you, I got 16 years on my radio station. I will make you. Brown stool. I will make you jerk chicken, curry goat. I'll make anything you want, bro. Rice and peas. Rice and peas. Yuka. Jerk chicken. Jerk. Uh, where is that jerk chicken? No, you said brown. Oh, I make jerk chicken too. Brown stew chicken, jerk beef, jerk pork. He likes to jerk it off. I jerk. I'm a jerky kind of guy. Again, I've been married. That's what happens when you. <laughs> When you're married for a long time, you have to jerk your food. You know, you have to be a jerky kind of guy. <laughs> oh, Lord. But, yeah, Jamaican food, I love it. I have a big bottle of like, jerk season. Uh, I got some jerk marinade. Grace Foods. If you guys ever want good Jamaican jerk like season and stuff for your food. <laughs> Grace Foods has a really, really good product. Oh, I know Jamaican 
Mm, excuse me. No, he's still by himself, ain't he? He said, I went to a resort there. I forgot what it was called. Probably sandals. Probably sandals. <laughs> sandals or beaches. But you won't get real Jamaican food. Unless you go out. Of unless you go out on the damn resort. Yeah. Like you got to go to the craft market, Ocho Rios. Or go to Mobe and go there. Or beaches. Yeah, beaches. Beaches is more of the family resort, where Sandals is like the adult, like couples resort. Yeah. Now beaches are the chain. Beaches, I got Sesame Street in them, 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 them place. You walk around and fucking Elmo walk right by you. Look, you're like, what? Is that just Elmo? Yeah, man. I had shots with Elmo when <laughs> I was there. Big Bird. All of them. I made sure I got a drink with every damn Sesame Street character your kid loves. I was doing shots with him. Yeah. Welcome to Jamaica, man. All right, I got to stop. Yeah, I'm on. Wait, yeah. why is something being retracted? I, I use Jamaica jerk seasoning on my ribs. Don't hide it, show that. Yeah. I had pepper shrimp on Crocodile River, right on the side of the road. I have been in Don's River. I have been to Negril, Ocho Rios, Montego Bay, pretty much the western seaboard of Jamaica. And that was amazing. Had a good time. Made a lot of good people. Went to Bob Marley's house, saw the tomb. Just amazing. Hey, Miss Producer. No, but I can't have it over here. I'm going to keep on eating. I was told the resort was no Playboy Mansion or something like that. Probably. Wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't doubt it a bit. Nine folks watching is what my clock says over here. Well, guys, I don't mean to cut it close or cut it whatever, but I think we pretty much covered everything tonight. Everybody talked to water sports. We completely blew off talk at winning the hunting. <laughs> but yeah, we came back into cooking. And come back into cooking. And now I'm going to tell you again about next week. Next Friday, be here in your costume. 10 p.m. costume contest is all night. Uh, well, like you're really gonna have to stay to the end if you want to come in early. You gotta stay to the end if you're gonna win the contest. Amazon gift cards, fishing lures, and again, if anybody wants to give something away next Friday in the drawing or in the uh, prizes, please let me know. Write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Um, I have coming up in November. To pretty much pre-promote this Veterans Night. If any of you are veterans, I'm going to have a Veterans Night where I have a veteran of mine and maybe a few of you other veterans coming up talking about what you have going on and ways to help veterans in the community through social media and stuff like that. So that's coming up here in November. Uh, don't forget we also have Thanksgiving coming up. Christmas is coming up. It's going to be a magical time, especially up here in the new cabin. Don't forget as well, if you have any mounts that any any of you aren't using and you want to send to the cabin to be part of the backdrop, let me know as well as that. And, um, yeah, I think we covered it all. So, guys, do you have any videos? Anybody has anything you want to post before we wrap up? Coming out. <laughs> Binks, you got anything? Coyote, you got anything? Uh, who else is left? Rob already logged off. Uh, Judith, you got anything coming up that we need to know about or you want us to know about? Go ahead and post it right now.
With that, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed by now, you made it all the way to the end. Hit the subscribe button. We got lots more coming. Like I said, the boys are going. My son is going back to school on Monday, so that means content can continue and I can get some work done. Looking forward to Monday, not just to kick the boy out of the house, but to finally get some videos done. So, guys, I hope you have an amazing night. Judah says we are starting a trapping challenge. I can only trap live, but I'll take part in it. What are we doing, Judith? Let me know what we're doing, and I'm in. I can only trap live. I don't know if I can kill it. I don't know yet. I'm going to talk to Huntress Jen and see what we can kind of do. And um, I want to trap. I really do. Even if it's here on a property, I'm up for a challenge. I'll go buy a live trap. They can't be too expensive. I think Tractor Supply got them. So. But I'm always down for the challenge. Anything else, guys? Anything else? No. No. Well, Judith, get a hold of me on that challenge. I'm definitely down for it. I'm gonna wrap things up here, guys. I thank you so much for participating, so much for being here. Don't forget to share out. I'll be posting Monday on Friday's live stream so everybody can share it out. We're giving my Amazon gift cards. And lots of other prizes this Friday for Boxy's Outdoors Halloween Bash here on Hollow Infantry we Outdoors. Make a catch and send the trap to the next trapper and on down the line. I want to be part of that. Uh, I want to be part of that. <clears throat> Somehow, some way, I want to be part of that. I definitely do, for sure. But guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I'm DJ Infantry, aka the Blind Sniper, here on Infantry Outdoors. Thanking you so much for being part of this and every Friday night that you have been part of. And we thank you so much for being part of our family. Guys, have an amazing night. Ladies, gentlemen and ladies, have an amazing night. Don't forget next Friday, Halloween bash time. Hey, guys, thank you so much for participating. And I hope that this and all of our adventures here on Infantry Outdoors inspires you to get outdoors. So until we meet again, on behalf of the producer and myself, the infantry, guys, have a god bless night. We'll see you. Take care. Night, everybody. <clears throat> like raise your signing off. And I don't have a screen up here. No. You don't have a screen. Hmm? I don't know if I'm live or not. I have to wait and see. That seems to be scratching my head. I don't know if we're still live or not. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we're still live. I still see chat. Like, so. like I don't have. Like it's on, but it's not on. No, I think it stopped because I'm not on froze. I froze it. Okay, so we're off. I think we're off. <laughs> no. I'm not moving anymore. Hand jive. Hand no, jive. I don't know what happened. Okay, we're Jen says call her around 8.30. 8.30 for what? Tomorrow for the thing at Winn-Dixie. We will put out a video. Whenever you get up, call till I answer. I went to like I had clicked on it and ready to sign off and it it just stuck. You got it plugged in? We can hear you. We can hear you. Hmm? Are we still live, guys? Let me know in the chat. Somebody comment in the chat if we're still live. Because we don't know if we're live or not. Somebody comment in the chat if we're freaking live because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I still see the chat moving. Yes, we're still live, producer. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell did you, you... Said just heard you read my text? <laughs> oh, Lord.
Like, I even control all deleted and everything. Yeah, what did you do there? I didn't do anything. Okay, well, it's going to drop off here.